What's up, my name is Technumber here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. Do you want to test your stream settings, but you don't want it going public for everyone to see on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, or more simultaneously? Well, of course, there's a very simple way to make sure that your stream is only seen by your eyes to check if everything's working as expected. You'd usually want to host a test or private stream to test for choppy, blocky, or laggy streams, audio not working, or just general video quality. Assuming you're using the sponsor of this video, Restream to stream to multiple platforms, Link in the description. How exactly do you go about doing this? It seems pretty impossible to test stream to multiple platforms, right? Well, there's two ways that we can do this. Test stream to a private YouTube or Facebook stream or stream to restream.io and check the recordings tab without having to stream to any public platform. You can either have streaming software installed like OBS or you can use the Restream Studio where you don't need any streaming software installed. It doesn't matter how you stream. I'll first show you the private YouTube and Facebook stream method. You'll be going live to both of these platforms using Restream.io and only you will be able to see it so you can check the quality of your streams. To begin, let's start with setting up an unlisted YouTube event and private Facebook stream. Only people with the YouTube event link can see the stream and only you logged into your Facebook account can see your Facebook stream. Simply head over to your Restream dashboard and make sure to connect both YouTube and Facebook if you haven't already. To add one, simply click Add Channel, then select YouTube and follow the steps on screen. Then once you've connected your accounts, head across to the Events tab on the left hand side. Then click Schedule Live Event, Live Stream, and then we'll be entering a title here. I'll simply enter Test. I'll click Next, and we can choose what platforms we'll test stream to. I'll only be testing YouTube and Facebook, as Twitch doesn't have a private streaming mode. To make our YouTube stream private, simply click Edit next to the YouTube section up here and change the privacy to private or unlisted, depending on what you'd like. Then click Apply. Unlisted means anyone with the link can see the video and private means only you signed into your account can see it. Then for Facebook, you'll notice that there isn't a privacy option when we check the settings for it. So what exactly do we need to do here? Well, simply head across to Facebook in a new tab. Then when you're signed into the correct Facebook account, simply click the drop down in the top right and head across to settings and privacy, then settings once again. Or you can head across to facebook.com slash settings. On the left hand side, simply look for business integrations and click that. If you successfully linked Restream and your Facebook account, you'll see restream.io streaming listed over here. Simply click view and edit, and then scroll down on this page to the very bottom where you see additional business integration settings. You can see that you use this business integration. Simply change this from public to only me or friends to have it stream to only these two groups. If you have it set to public, which you should if you'd like everyone to see it, then everyone will get a notification and they can watch the stream. I'll leave it as only me and click save. Heading back to Restream, we're done here. We can click Create Event, then we'll simply locate the correct stream on the list and either click RTMP Settings to get a stream key and location that we can enter in OBS Studio or anything like that, or we can use the Restream Studio by clicking Enter Live Studio. This is a pretty cool feature. Basically, you can host a live stream or webinar from your browser using your webcam, microphone, share your screen, gameplay, etc, etc, invite other people to join you, and a couple of other cool features. So what I'll do is click Share Screen, and I'll pick my left-hand side monitor, Screen 3. I can also choose to share audio, which I'll do. Then I'll click Share, and immediately you'll see that my screen has been added here as another input. Currently, I have my webcam coming into here, but I don't have it plugged in, so it's showing up as gray. By disabling it, I come up like this and things look a bit better. What I'll do is I'll enable the other screen and then I'll click the maximize button to show only the screen. Now I'm streaming my left hand side monitor, which is this one over here. Now when I click go live, I'll be streaming this monitor over here as well as my PC sound. So with this going in the background, I'll simply make sure to click go live up here. This is the exact same thing as clicking start stream inside of OBS Studio or anything like that. Now this view over here is being sent across to the platforms that we selected earlier. If I click view event in the top left, right next to the date and time, it'll open up in a new tab. Inside of here, we have all of the destinations that we're currently streaming to. I'll go ahead and click view event next to both Facebook and YouTube to open up the unlisted streams. Over here is my unlisted YouTube stream. And as you can see, it's working exactly as you'd expect. Everything that I see inside of this Restream Studio dashboard is being streamed to YouTube. Under the name of the stream, it says unlisted. 
Only people with the stream link can watch this video. If I head across to the Facebook tab over here, you'll see the live stream which doesn't play until I click watch live. If you had a look in that post over there, or you have a look at the right hand side over here, right under your username will be a little lock symbol. When hovered over, it tells you exactly who can see the stream. It says only me. By clicking it, we bring up this window over here that we can change the stream privacy. If you'd like to change an existing stream's privacy on YouTube, you have to first make sure you're signed in with the correct account and then scroll down on the live stream page and click edit video. Then in the YouTube studio page, you can change the visibility to whatever you'd like here. Cool. So now that we know both of our streams are running, let's go ahead and click finish, which is the same as clicking the stop stream button inside of OBS or anything else. This stops our unlisted test stream as we're happy with how it looks. Both of our streams come to a close and the VODs will be handled as defined on the platform. YouTube should have the VOD as unlisted and I'm not too sure about Facebook. If you usually just go live, you can head across to the live studio over here or set up your RTMP key for OBS, Zoom, etc. As soon as you go live there, it'll use all of the default settings. If I were to go ahead and create another event for a public live stream, I'll call it public. Clicking edit next to the YouTube section shows that it's by default set to public. So you won't need to worry about this setting over here for YouTube, but for Facebook, you'll need to make sure to return to the settings page. Once again, business integrations, view and edit next to restream.io and scroll down to the very bottom where we can change this from only me to say public. After clicking save and either streaming using an event or simply going live directly, all of the platforms will have our public stream. Of course, I mentioned that there is an easier way and I wasn't lying. We can skip all of these steps about setting privacy and instead just stream to restream.io without going to any public platform. You will unfortunately need a paid account for this as the recordings feature is not available on free accounts. The referral link in the description down below will get you $10 off your first month. After you've upgraded your account to something like professional or even standard, you'll have access to the recording tab. We can get there by simply clicking the cloud, which is video storage. This is where all of our previous live streams will go into the recordings tab over here. You can see the previous test stream is available over here. All that you need to do to stream to only restream.io and not any public platforms is simply turn all of these off or simply click the off button next to toggle all. Then we can either start streaming using an RTMP key or we can click enter live studio to stream using only our browser. After clicking go live here or starting a stream in the software of your choice, you'll immediately be streaming to only restream.io and nowhere else. Nobody will be able to watch your live stream, but you can check the recording afterwards to make sure your settings are adequate. If you're noticing any quality issues in your stream coming from the restream studio, simply click the settings icon down here advanced settings and make sure to adjust the live stream quality using this drop down over here. You'll only be able to do this when you're not live, so make sure to stop your live stream and start it again when you're happy. Note that by changing the stream quality, resolution, FPS and bitrate, it is going to take more power on not only your computer, but also your internet connection. So make sure that your PC is more than powerful enough to handle it. Either way, when you're done testing inside of Restream Studio or using your software of choice, simply stop the live stream and then head across to the cloud icon once again, the video storage tab. Then at the very top, recordings, you'll see your previous live streams over here. I'll go ahead and click on the one that we had just a second ago to start it playing inside of our browser. It'll simply be streamed straight off the VOD server right into our browser. And if you wanted to, you can click the three dots to either download it, download the audio, or simply delete the VOD completely, which is what I'll do. I'm happy with the quality and I'm ready to go live. When you are ready to go live, simply remember to head back to the main restream page and enable all of the platforms you'll be streaming to either one by one or by clicking the on button next to toggle all at the very top. The next time you go live, you'll go live to all of your platforms of choice simultaneously and your stream will look better than ever because you've gone ahead and you've tested it right before going live publicly. Your viewers won't get a notification on whatever platform you're on because we test streamed on Facebook and YouTube using unlisted or private streams that only we can see or people that we give the links to. So that's about it for this video. Thank you once again to Restream for sponsoring this short video series. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.